Happening today, family and friends of a woman killed in West Charlotte set to say their final goodbyes today. The community coming together yesterday for a candlelight vigil to remember Tyra Crosby. CMPD says Stephanie Alexander came home and killed Crosby. Her family tells WCNC Charlotte she was invited over by the husband. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us now and Richard Alexander uh, now out of jail on bond. That is correct and as she's out of jail on bond awaiting her trial for her voluntary manslaughter, the family and friends of Miss Crosby are remembering her life not the way it ended, but the life she lived. It was, it's a lot of words to describe her. Family and friends sharing stories and memories of a life cut short. Dozens came together Sunday to remember 25-year-old Tyra Crosby, shot and killed in the early morning hours last Tuesday in a house on Porter Street in East Charlotte. Police say Stephanie Alexander came home and found Crosby inside and shot her. Crosby's family said she was invited to the house by Alexander's husband. Alexander arrested for voluntary manslaughter. The vigil held by mothers of murdered our strength for those who knew the 25 year old, many of them saying she was kind and loving. She was beautiful. Her soul, her spirit, inside and out. She gonna be our angel on our shoulder. She always knew what to say. Lighting candles and prayers and releasing balloons, trying to deal with the pain of her death, including her mother, who was the last to light a candle in her memory. It's to see how many lives she touched and the love that she had in her heart. Yeah, and again, that ceremony of celebration of life will take place today at noon. We're in West Charlotte, Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.